Hello everyone, I'm Xantor, and this is a tutorial on how to tempo map songs properly for Moonscraper, which is a chart editor for the game Clone Hero. So first off, you're going to need a number of different things, such as your song, as an mp3, that you've downloaded legally, of course, of course. Uh, you're going to need Moonscraper itself, which is the chart editor program, and you're also going to need Audacity. Now this last one, Audacity, it's kind of optional, but like I recommend doing it anyway because it'll make your charts seem a lot cleaner and nicer to play overall. Um, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, but yeah, first of all, you're going to get your MP3 and you're going to drag it into Audacity, which I've actually got open right here. So of course we've got Audacity. Um, let's just drag the MP3 into here, which will import it. Um, I'm going to be using Critical Acclaim by Avenged Sevenfold, um, just as an example today. So, as you can see, we've got the song here, you know, we've got the loud bit here, we've got the, the weird church organs that are in, in this bit right here. It's a little bit loud, so I'm just going to turn it down quickly. Um, didn't really prepare for that. Professionalism. Okay, so what I want to do is, to make the chart seem as pleasant to the user as possible, um, what I like to do is make two seconds of silence. Two seconds of perfect silence before the song actually starts. Now you can either do this in two different ways. Um, of course, you can copy and paste a little bit of silence at the beginning, like this. So Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. You can do it that way. Uh, or if there isn't any, uh, you can go to the very top here, which says Generate. Uh, click on that, and then go down to Silence, and you can generate seconds of silence wherever you want. So there you go. Just made two seconds of silence. Um, but yeah, try and make it as like exact as possible. Um, to the two seconds of silence you can. Um, so I recommend going over a little bit of two seconds, then clicking and dragging the length to there. Now, the reason why we're doing this is so that when you first click on the chart in the actual game and you want to play it, if if this right here was a note that was it, like being charted for the game, um, you, more than likely the person playing it would miss it because it would come up so fast they wouldn't be able to react to it quick enough and they wouldn't expect it. So it's always good to put at least two seconds um, before the song actually begins um, just so yeah, you, you, you give the actual player of the song some time um, before you know the song actually begins. Um, and also same with the end. You want to make sure that your mp3 file doesn't have a bunch of silence at the end because um, if it does when the song's actually finished, everyone's just going to be waiting for like five minutes for the song to end. Um, so you want to cut that down as much as possible. There you go. So that's fine. And it's still very loud. But yeah, there you go. We've got that. Now all we need to do is export the audio right here. Export. Now you can either do this in two different ways. You can export this as an MP3, um, which actually does require you download a different encoder. It's called the Lame Encoder. Um, it's kind of difficult to find on the internet. Um, and install, but when you've got it, it's it's great. Um, but if you don't have the MP3, um, I usually recommend the OG. So I usually do it as an OG, so song.og. Um, and you want to name it that as well, song.og. Um, otherwise, it will not be picked up when you import this song into Clone Hero. Um, so we're going to export that. We can keep all the metadata. We don't really need it, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Let it export. Easy as that. Um, I recommend choosing the highest quality of song. Um, most people have got tons and tons of storage um, to actually keep songs today, so you might as well put it as the highest quality. Um, now, of course, you can close this down. You can close that down altogether, completely. And then, as you can see here, we've got our song.org file. Um, you can delete the original file, but, I mean, if it's your only copy of that song, I, of course, don't recommend deleting it. So you've got this one right here, song.org, which is what we're going to be using for Moonscraper, which is right here. This is the program you use to edit charts. Um, now, if you don't know how to use Moonscraper, um, I'll briefly show you how you do it. Um, so, first of all, um, to actually get to around tempo mapping the song, you want to go into Song Properties right here. Of course, you want to put the name of the song, so it's Critical Acclaim by Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, charters, so that's where you put your name, so in this case it's Xantor. Album, so you put the album name, so it's off of Avenged Sevenfold's self-titled album, so I'm just going to call it Self-Titled, even though that isn't actually the name of the album. The year, 2007, 
Um, genre, metal, those are the things really you have to worry about. Ignore offset, ignore difficulty, ignore media type. There's no point in doing any of that. Then right here, where it says song audio, this is the important bit. You want to click on load and find the song itself that you need. So there you go, song.org. And there you go, you've loaded that song in um, to the chart editor. And yeah, if we play through the song just a little bit, there you go, you can hear the song playing. You can hear the song playing. And I won't play too much because copyright. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you, you probably think, okay, everything's good to go now. I'll just start placing notes, you know, like this and then that. But no, 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 no. That's not what you do at all. You want to make sure you get the tempo mapping correct, which is what this tutorial is all about. Tempo mapping. So you see this little globe right here on the left next to tools. You want to click that. This will show you all of the audio levels for the song. Now, another reason why I said two seconds is because it lines up perfectly with this line right here. I mean, you don't really have to, you know, change wherever the song is um, because it will be perfectly on that line right here. This one right here, which is a good start because you want to make sure your song starts on a line. If it doesn't, um, then more than likely you've done something wrong. I'll put it that way. Um, Next thing to do is actually work out the BPM of the song. Now this for most people can be a little bit difficult. Um, BPM stands for beats per minute. So how many times the song taps every minute. Um, it's kind of easy to work out when you know how. So for example, let's let's get to where some of the action starts in the song. Because we've got a little bit of an intro here. Um, but yeah, let's actually go to where the song starts. So the song starts right here. So let's, let's actually listen to um to a little bit of a song now and 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 yeah we'll, we'll see if we can work out the, the bpm now the way to do this is go up to the top right here where it says bpm calculator now I'll bring up this little window here so what you want to do is you want to start the song and then you want to tap um for every single beat you hear in the song so let's wait till it, it speeds up just a little bit in some songs such as this one the bpm changes quite a lot um, so that's where it can get a little bit difficult. So uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to tap and make it one whole thing. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. So for example, that is 136. I probably did it wrong there. That, well, that probably wasn't, you know, the best thing to do there. Because um, it's a bit of a weird song um, to do, to be fair. But um, I recommend starting with things like ACDC. ACDC are probably the easiest thing to tempo map to um, and actually chart for. So, for example, you tap along to your song. Um, you see 136 BPM. So what you do is you click on this little metronome thing right here on the left. And then place a BPM marker here and change that to whatever it was. So in this case, 136. And then that'll make the rest of this in time. Now, if let's say when you're placing notes up here and it sounds off time with the song, um, what you then want to do is whether it's too early or too late, you want to try and work that out. Because if it is, change this one right here, this this. BPM marker right here, the first one. You don't want to change this at all unless you're having sync issues further up. So, for example, um, if it's 120 and let's say this is off by like half a second, um, you then want to change that because as you can see, by increasing the BPM, it moves that line closer to the front of the chart and move it, moving it lower in BPM moves it back. So, with this, you can do quite a lot. You can make it perfectly in time with what it is so say you you know say this is what it looks like now and you you added a little bit too much time right here um of the chart and you think oh it's not starting online well you just go to here the bpm marker um you want to make sure it's behind another one that's how it works um and then you want to just just gently move it a little bit like that so it's perfectly in line um now, in order to make notes actually in time, because they're not always in time, you want to turn on this option right here, clap. So if the clap is turned on, what that'll do is that'll mean that whenever a note is hit 
on here, it'll play a little it'll play a little click sound like this. Which is perfect for actually making the song in time. You want to make sure that everything is in time, regardless of how it looks. So that is on time with the first note. That that dun. And I'll probably do this as a tap note if it were me as well. Because it's a, a keyboard right here. So then of course you hold right click and drag to do extended notes. Okay, so note changes. It's lower notes. So in that case... It changes about here, okay? We'll try this this m m note marker right here on the line. It's a little bit early. So that means, because it's a bit early, I'm going to move that up to the half note. There you go. And that's how you want to chart things, really. Just make sure it all works out with the clicks. Make sure it, 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 you know, it perfectly matches up. And then, of course, if the BPM changes at a later point, um, I recommend placing like two BPM markers like this, um, changing the front one, which is this one, um, to whatever the BPM is. So let's say the song gets really fast to 190, you'll change it to 190, that front one, which means the rest of the song is in 190. And then if the front one is out of sync by a little bit, you want to then change the second one to make it either closer or further away. As you can see, the line on 190 is moving. So that's kind of how you want to do things. You want to do things a bit like that. Um, and that's kind of how you tempo map, really. Um, again, this wasn't really the greatest example of tempo mapping. Um, but, I mean, in this case, I think what I'm going to do is just very quickly uh, load up a thing I've been working on. Um, which is a chart by the after image. Um, so, I, I, this is just what I've done. Right, okay. So, as you can see, I've changed that to to the BPM to 121 because it was slightly off at the beginning um, and then the rest of the song is in 160 um, so listen to the claps along with the song itself I'm just going to turn this up just a little bit um, just so you can actually hear the claps along to the song okay ready so claps are perfectly in time with the notes Now, I'm not going to play through all of that song, because um, of course, copyright. Um, but the one thing to keep note of is either leave the step th counter thing right here at either 16 or 32. Um, those are the main things you'll need, really. Because 32 will allow you to do um, quadruple notes like this, which is sort of like spam strumming or like rake strumming sort of thing. Um, like it's really fast notes, like, you know, Dragon Four songs, really. Um, and even if it's a solo as well, you might even want to go to this sort of thing, like um, like 48. If it's a really fast solo, then that's what I recommend. Um, but other than that, you shouldn't really need to go higher than 16, unless it's like progressive metal like this, where notes will be coming at you really fast and at weird tempos and things. But yeah, um, that's kind of what you want to think about. Um, try to keep them on the lines as much as possible. Um, half lines as well, that's fine as well, going on half, but what I see a lot of people do in charts is do this, they go all the way up to like 768 right here, and like, they'll try and place the note like this, so like they go there, they go there, go there, 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 and like look at it, it just looks horrible, it looks absolutely horrible, because they're not in line with the lines themselves, they're completely off. Um, they don't match the lines at all. And the lines, for those who don't know, actually help us players of Clone Hero um, keep in time with the song. So you see the lines, you think, okay, that's then, and I need to play it then. But if there's no lines, or like, you know, the lines are completely off, um, it makes it a lot more difficult to play, and it looks terrible as well. Um, it'll show that you're an inexperienced charter, let's put it that way. Um, but there's not really much else I want to explain, really, um, in this video. Um... I'll say this now before I end the video. Shout outs to koalas. Shout outs to um, Saint August as well, who's my dude. He's also my dude. Um, and also uh, House of Zipper. House of Zipper is another cool guy. Um, but yeah, koalas, House of Zipper, and Saint August. They're all really good dudes. Um, they're sort of the dudes who made me want to record this as well. Um, 
yeah, there's such a chart on tempo mapping because they want a chart and yeah, they're struggling with it. Um, but yeah, that's the tempo mapping tutorial. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.